Hi guys, today is a perfect day to show you how to make a plaster mold um, that you can use as a bat on your wheel head because I have David here with me and now David just finished an e-course with us we are so excited to have David here uh, David, can you help me pour this help in? You and I've never always wondered how to do this <laughs> Yeah, we need the nuts on it first, is that what you do? Oh, yeah. Okay. And the plaster is already... These get molded into the plaster and then it just... All, oh, that's great. That's right. So we, we added the release here, but I also put a piece of plastic down there. And these are going to go right into the, the plaster. It is a, it's a nut. And of course, the, yeah. the bed pin is sitting right there. We covered it with a little bit of... Um, clay there and this is just some plastic but I have to get this very quickly in here before it's settling down. I can use my hand. Let me... You can? Oh yes. I like plaster. So how do you get the surface nice and smooth? When everything is settled down yeah. then I'm going to use uh, some tools and Excellent. just trim it oh, to where it's great. becoming smooth. You also clean up the outside edge get rid of that. That's right. You want to get all the sharp edges away so that you don't hurt your hands. Good. With it. So you've made it about an inch and a half thick or an inch thick, something like that? Yeah, I guess you can make it as thick as you would like to have it, but that's more or less it. This is a way to help you smooth out it a little bit. It's not going to make it perfectly smooth, but it's a starting place. And when it's completely dry, then we will smooth it off a little better. So the credit card, just the old can Hotel I get my card. credit card out? I think this will be a better <laughs> use than what I've been using it for. It's a great idea. And it's not going to smooth it perfect, but it's helping. It'll pre-dress it because you'll go back with the that, sharp, sharp That's tool. right. Yeah. And you, you can tell there, there's a lot of... And even I think the, uh, if you have a... You need to use the sturdiest material that you can mm -hmm. find in that this way. It works pretty well though. It's uh, a plastic. pretty rigid plastic that you were able to yeah. Keep, yeah. Yeah, but you can tell there it's bulging out a little bit on that side and over there. Mm. But there's a plastic. That's the first thing that we're taking down. Okay. And I think we can lift oh, this up. Oh, it lifts right off. Look at that. Yay! Oh, they're the nuts that I was asking about. There's Excellent. The nuts. Now I understand. Oh. Now you know what? This is not as smooth as it would have been if was this, this was a commercial one. It's very, very much handmade. Uh, but let's pull this away and see. Let's see how it fits. See if it's going to fit. Well, I get to check it out right away. I, I would suggest that you make some marks on the sides of your piece so that you can know how to fit those two easier. You know, it's one of the things that I hate. It's so easy to do. Yeah. They're it, pretty expensive too when you buy them. It, they are expensive, but you know, sometimes you don't know where to go to with it, so it helps if you have those little marks. And just to start, I'm going to, it, it's still fairly soft, so see what's happening there, but I want for you to see that these shavings needs to go into a trash can. Do not put them down your drain, they're going to clog your drain. And make sure that you uh, don't get it mixed in with any clay water. The clay that we used here is going to go away in my trash can. This one's made very, very fast. And it was already, the, the plaster was already drying or started Stiffened getting up stiff. a little too quickly. Yeah, yeah, so if you have it where it's still liquid, then this surface would have been much, much smoother and you just would have had to finish it off a little bit. So at this stage, I'm going to go right in there. And by the way, if you keep your hand still, watch there. If I keep my hand still, it's just going to start touching on the one spot where it needs to take some of the plaster away. Just like trimming clay. Just like trimming clay. Except that, be careful people, don't mix this in with your clay. I have gotten it in my clay before. Uh, just a little, all it takes is one tiny little piece. And uh -huh. they'll, they'll pop out uh, a week, a month after you, your pot comes out of the kiln. It's terrible. It's and, right and, to the trash can. And you know, what is very sad about that is if you spend a lot of time in making that one, one piece, and there it comes out and, and you cannot You cannot do anything at all about it. Mm -hmm. That's a great tip. Love it. Okay. Let's see if you can do that. <laughs> 